two with the vlogs. We took a little bit of a break off of vlogging this week. Um, I think the last vlog, I don't even know where we're at. I need to catch up on our footage because we're a little bit behind right now, but we went to St. Augustine last weekend and I did get footage from that. I don't know if it's enough to be Probably an actual small, vlog. Small vlog. It might be enough to be a vlog. So we'll see, we'll see future us, future editing me. We'll decide that later. Um, but it is the next weekend now <clears throat> and all week my mom was in town and it was just the most crazy hectic week ever. So I could not even think about filming, um, but it was a fun week. So my mom was staying at our house our apartment. Actually, it was a lot happened. A lot happened. So let's give you a quick update. Including a little preview that a Miami apartment tour vlog <gasps> is coming up. Yes. We're finally finished with it. We're finally. Oh, we just ate a bagel. Is there seeds in my teeth? No, but you're keeping that clip. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, wait. Okay. Yes. So we'll, we'll give you an update from the beginning of everything, but we are going to film an uh, apartment tour soon. So basically my mom came back with us from St. Augustine to Miami to help my sister pack because they are moving into our building, into right the apartment next, next to us, which is my freaking dream. So it's going to be so fun and um, they need to pack because we have a lot going on this month. So my mom was helping them pack this week, which is the reason why she came. And turns out that the building that my sister is currently living in was doing like a fire alarm test for the whole week. And the fire alarm was going off from 9 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. So they obviously like couldn't be in there packing the whole time. So they came and sat in my apartment while we were working. And it was like, it was funny because every time they would talk, we'd be like, stop talking. <laughs> like, cool, Shut this up. is a quiet <laughs> zone. Um, but it was good. And then we got a lot done packing wise. But fun stuff that we did not film at all because it was so hectic basically as you guys know we've been on the search for a new couch we have posted our couch on facebook marketplace a while ago for um we listed it for a thousand dollars we got the couch for like two thousand i think um and it's it was in perfect condition and so we listed the couch we didn't get much interest but we got this one guy who was interested i think i vlogged about it that one day that he was supposed to come and yeah. he failed so he was like a resale furniture guy and he was going to come pick up the couch which was like ideal because he like had a truck and everything and he let us he like basically scheduled it and then bailed the same day because he said that his warehouse didn't have any room so that was kind of annoying, but he was originally going to buy it for 600 which was, like, definitely the lowest we would want to get rid of it for. So we just kind of waited because, obviously, he wasn't ready to get it yet. And all of a sudden, I guess... To to, so we had to go to St. Augustine, mm -hmm. so we weren't really, like, We were more, We weren't it. rushing. We knew our couch, the, the new couch that we wanted, and we were just like, it's going to happen when it happens. And it's in stock. It's like... Yeah. We weren't worried about it. So yeah. Like, so... We went to St. Augustine, came back, and then this girl reached out on Facebook Marketplace, and I was talking with her. She seemed really interested, wanted to check it out first, which normally on Facebook Marketplace, if someone wants to come see something first, I'm like, I don't want to waste my time. Like, I'm not going to, like, come schedule you to come into my house to see something, like, whatever. But with something that's, like, a big purchase like that, I totally, like, obviously she wants to see it before spending so much money on it. So she, um, her boyfriend came, which was... Oh Quite God. literally the funniest <laughs> thing that's ever happened, ever. But this man is a state trooper, a Florida state trooper. Comes in his like like our age, every probably day. maybe yeah, like he's younger like, even. I think like a year younger. Yeah, than probably. And Comes in in his full uniform. Pilot. I nearly myself, <laughs> and I was like, I so. Long story short, when we were on the way to St. Augustine, he got a speeding ticket, which he was going, like, Allegedly. four miles over the speed limit, but whatever. Um, and so, to the elevator, and you go, are you here for the couch, or are you here for my ticket? Yeah. <laughs> and he was, like, laughing. It was funny, but he was so nice. And so, he checked out the couch. He loved it, and basically... No, no. What I, what, what I said was, like, damn, I didn't know you guys, you uh, state troopers, go after tickets like that. He's like, no, no, I'm here for the couch. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Loved it, and just basically needed a few days to figure out, like, how to get it. Um, and so, with that, we were just, like, waiting. Because I never, like, unless, until the couch is gone and the sale and the transaction has been done, I don't get my hopes up. So, two days go by, he calls Powell, 
And he's like, hey, I can come in an hour. So we're like, yes, let's do it. He comes with three other guys. They take the couch out. No problem because it can be separated into three different pieces. Then, not even an hour later, our couch for our second bedroom gets delivered. So it was perfect, the most seamless process because the, the big couch left our living room and then the other couch came in because obviously we didn't have a couch and my mom was staying over. So that worked perfectly. So perfect. Within an hour, we ordered the new couch from City Furniture to get shipped. And they had like for $200 extra where they bring it upstairs or you get free shipping and they bring it to your lobby. So like why on earth would we pay $200 for someone to literally walk and I'm into so our door? I hate that we didn't because yeah. Friday, yesterday when the couch was supposed to be delivered, city furniture calls. They say, "Hey, we're downstairs." We go downstairs, we see the couch, and they try to put it in the elevator and it doesn't fit. The couch that we just purchased for quite a chunk of money doesn't fit in our elevator and we're on a high floor and there is no service elevator or bigger elevator in our building so i'm trying to stay calm here i'm like not okay the guys are like the maintenance guys in our building are like it's not gonna fit they like are asking us what floor we're on see if they could take the stairs like it's just like whatever the guys at city furniture were not the nicest and they were like you're gonna have to give it back we're gonna pay a 200 dollars restocking fee like we're like no, that is not happening. I was like, no, it's going in. It's that going into the apartment. Our savior uh, friend who works in our building, the nicest guy in the whole world, comes over. He's like, what's going on? We're like, it doesn't fit in the elevator. He's like, it fits. I got this. He literally by himself. Yep. He did that by himself, like yep. fully. He takes the couch and he maneuvers it into the elevator and it fits. I was shook. And I was like, I couldn't stop thanking him. And everything was good. The city furniture guys left. All the three of us go up to the elevator, go up to our floor. And we try to get it out of the elevator. And it gets out of the elevator and no, into the hallway. that's not a problem. Not a problem. But because we have, like, individual corridors in our building, we don't have, like, a hallway technically, it gets stuck in the hallway. <laughs> Fully stuck. So this, there's three of us just trying to maneuver this. Like, like the biggest fire hazard. We're sitting there trying to maneuver it into the... We're trying to, like, open the trash chute door to try and, like, push the couch out and, like, figure out how to do it. He decides to take the lead and take it out of the wrapping. And we're, like, no, throwing... No, I did. That was my idea. Oh, it was? was? Like, yeah, I was like, let's... All right. Let's make sure we have all options all, covered. Yeah. Let's take everything out. Yeah. He's, like, starting to give up at this point. And he's like, "We, you might have to return it. I'm like, oh, my God. And so and we I'm take off. Like, I'm not returning it. It's going in. Uh -huh. We take off all the wrapping. And uh, he starts throwing the pillows everywhere. And then we, like, twist it. And we got it in the apartment. And it is beautiful. And we're so happy about it. It's so comfy. And the people who bought our couch love the couch that we got, which we wanted it to go to a good home. So that's our little update that probably this clip was, like, ten minutes long. Um, but we just needed to do a little update. My mom off at Amtrak because she's taking the train back to Tampa and we are on our way to drop off a bunch of stuff to Goodwill. We have like four different trash bags in our trunk right now. Then we're going to stop at Target because I need some like shampoo and conditioner and stuff. And then we're going to this little vintage event, um, at Soho house tonight. And then, yeah. We'll just take you with us for the weekend. We're just going to do a little weekend vlog and maybe like a, into the week. And our friends are coming to stay with us next weekend. We're really excited because they haven't yeah. visited us yet. So a ton of stuff going on. Yeah. So we made it to Target. Let me see. Turn. I like them. I like them a lot. They're perfect for the pool because they don't soak up water or anything. Pool on the beach. Love. You needed new sandals because... Your other ones are getting a little yuck. Okay, I have a bag full of things I have to try on. I'm looking at the shoes. Just to see. I haven't looked at Target shoes in forever. They always have good ones. Um, show me the black ones. I, I kind of like the green, though. I know, but like it doesn't match any of them. We came here for shampoo. And I haven't gotten the shampoo yet.
We got a boogie board though. Can you hurry up, please? Yes. You're getting me extremely aggravated. so frizzy um we just finished up with target i spent a hefty dollar what i spent a hefty dollar at target i always go there and i fill my cart up with so much stuff and then i always never end up buying half of it which is good but i bought a big thing of shampoo and conditioner because i always have to buy it so it just made more sense to get the big one and then what else did i get i got a little bathing suit cover up we got a boogie board because we've been wanting one and we found a good one for a good price. And that's about it. So we're heading home, getting our bathing suits on, and then we're going to go to the pool. Okay, so we stopped this morning when we dropped off my mom for bagels. And I've been wanting this shirt for so long from El Bagel. We always go there. So I got this shirt. Just showing you. What we got, super cute. It has like a pocket in the front and it's comfort colors which is the softest t-shirt brand and then I also got this from Target it's just this like long black skirt but what's cool about it which I didn't know when I was trying it on but there's a little spot to attach these straps and you can wear it as a dress or as a skirt so I thought that's cute little bathing suit cover up and then I got some cacao nibs and this dress that I'm going to try on from Red Dress Boutique, this online boutique. I saw it online and it's so cute and you can also wear this as a skirt or a dress. So I thought it would be perfect for summer. Um, but I got these cacao nibs because we were all out and I recently got these. Did I turn the light on? Um, I recently got these little containers from Amazon. So cute for like our smoothie essentials. Oops. So I have coconut flakes, hemp seeds, and then I'm going to put my cacao nibs in here. And then the plan is to put a little shelf up here and have them up there. So that's the plan, but I'm going to refill this right now. Are you ready for the big reveal of our brand new couch? Ta-da! She's so beautiful. Wow, I love her. It's insane how much it opened up the space. But basically, it's just one long couch, which is a little bit different than our last one because we had three separate pieces. But it's pretty much very close to the same size. I believe it's about 30 inches. 30? In yeah, I think 30 inches less than the other one. The arms aren't as long. And so we have a lot more space to walk through this way, which is great because when we opened the doors, it was annoying to walk through. And then we have a little space on this side, which I just put this little table here for now, but oh my God, I'm so obsessed. So basically it's just this like beige linen kind of fabric and it's so nice. I was like teetering back and forth with wanting white, but definitely not a good idea with a black cat and just like so much upkeep, but I really love the beige. I think it's so cute and this couch is so comfortable and it's just as deep and like wide as our last one. That's like my number one thing with couches. It has to be really wide this way. So it's so comfy and amazing and it just looks so clean and amazing and I'm just obsessed with it. So that's that. I was a little bit nervous because I didn't know if it would look good with the rug and it does. It's literally the same color and it looks good with this too. Um, my one thing though is like when you're looking at it this way, it's kind of a lot of beige because we have the rug and then this and then this and then the chairs. So I sort of wish I had like colored dining chairs, but eventually maybe we'll get a different rug, like a cool color or something. Um, and then I think I showed these in the vlog. We need to put some of our shoes away, but these are really good. Um, we got them from Amazon. They're little shoe cabinets and this is my bookshelf that we've been moving around but I restyled it um, yesterday and it looks really good we just have like crap that we throw on top whenever we leave the apartment but yeah I thought it was cute I got this from Urban Outfitters this little tic-tac-toe thing I had it on the bar no I had it on the 
coffee table, but I moved it there because I thought it was cute. And then my little collection of books. We just recently got the Amalfi Coast one. I need to take it out of the wrapper. Um, yeah, I like to get one new one a year. So I bought the Miami one last year and then the Amalfi one this year. Next, I want to get the Capri one. And then I put the disco balls there, cleaned up the bar cart a little bit. And I have a really fun project that I'm going to do with this mirror because I don't really like now that we have the beige couch that it's silver. And also this one, I don't really like that it's silver. So we're going to do a fun project. But I just showed the couch. I did the grand reveal. And he fits. Comfortably. Comfortably. So that's good. But I just got my bathing suit. I'm just wearing my black bathing suit, which is the best one for tanning. And this is the little skirt that I just got from Target has this little slit and it's high-waisted and you can wear it as a dress which is kind of weird because then the slit is all the way is high but it's still cute anyways so we just got this from target and i got some shampoo and conditioner and now this is our yeah, little bag we're going to the beach no we're not going to the beach we're going to my sister's pool and we cover the couch because we're scared that we don't know if she's a menace or not yeah she never attacked our other couch but this one definitely looks more enticing and she goes wild at this rug likes she likes the corners so we're covering it just for safety reasons we're gonna walk over it's a beautiful day out today so hello everyone it's a little bit later i got like one clip from when we went to the pool but it was so hot today we got a little bit of color um but we came home had a little snack and showered and got dressed and we're going to this event at Soho House today. Um, it's Little River Flea. They do vintage markets like all around Miami pretty much every weekend. And they have one at Soho House on the roof today. So we're going to that. I'm just wearing this top. I haven't worn this top in so long. Um, it's from LF. I actually got this originally for like a music festival literally I think like five years ago. That's how long I've had it. Um, but it just has this fun like cutout and chain feature on it so I just thought it was like fun because it's a vintage market and yeah so we're waiting for my sister to pick us up she's gonna pick us up and we're gonna drive there and go walk around I think there's like drinks and stuff there and then see what we get into probably gonna have a chill night I have a lot of editing that I want to do we want to like enjoy the couch and stuff and then tomorrow we're gonna go shopping because I really need to go shopping and that's the plan. So we're going to go to Soho House right now. It's really hot out. So I'm wearing my hair up because my hair in this heat is just like not a good mix. What you cooking in there? Pesto pasta. Pesto pasta. Homemade pesto. Homemade pesto. With some broccoli. With some broccoli. Look at that. Bam. Pizza, Boom. pizza broccoli. I call it. We whip this up. And where are we going after We're this? We're going to a movie with our movie pass. We're going to see, what is it? Air? Air. We got movie passes. So, I've been a movie pass member since the very OG, beginning. Like 2016. Like, and they emailed me, like, hey, do you want to be a part of... Relaunch. Relaunch. And so, we're basically in the beta here. So Movie Pass, if you're seeing this, I'm a big fan and I will always use you. And I've been using you since like 2000, I don't when know. When they first started. 14, I think. 15, mm -hmm. maybe. So Movie Pass, if you're seeing this, <laughs> I am a fan. Totally. And I will keep using this. Uh, even if I see one movie a month, it's still worth it to me because like there's always something I want to see anyway. And it's also yeah. fun. It's like an activity. You want and to it's also even $10 a month is cheaper than seeing a movie. Yeah, it's, it's literally cheap. We're, it's ridiculous. We're going to IPIC. Yeah, we're going to an IPIC to see the new movie Rise. It's about um, no, Air. Air. Sorry. So it should be fun. And Very excited. I'm really excited about this. But I also want to. There, there's a few mo movies I want to see. Me too. Um, I want to see the new John Wick movie, the Avatar movie. I'm still, like slacking on that. I hope it's still in theaters. I really want to see Magic Mike, and I really want to see the Mario movie. Yeah, I'll see the Mario movie with you, but the Magic Mike, I think I'll pass. I, oh, I also want to see Creed. Oh. You don't know what Creed is. No, I don't. I just said that. <laughs> Creed is a boxing movie. Oh, I definitely um, don't see Michael that. B. Jordan is in it. I've been, it's like a reamp of 
Rocky Balboa, but love it. I've been following that series forever. Ooh. But we're about to have some pesto pasta. Yes. And, uh, we'll film at the theater. Or, we'll film at the yeah. theater. We'll bring you guys with us. And it's an IPIC movie, so we'll probably get some drinks or something. Uh-huh. Okay, we're approaching IPIC. I'm honestly shocked that this is part of Movie Pass option. Movie Pass is a little bit different now. They go by points. Credits. Or credits. So specific movies, like the less popular times are more credits. But it doesn't matter because we really aren't probably going to go that many times. So we're trying to find parking. Come on, not that we got our bag lucky. full of candy and vegan popcorn. Because obviously the popcorn in the movie theater is definitely not vegan, but I will be buying drinks because it's a fun feature that iPick has. Drinks. I was calling it iMovie. <laughs> I was like, literally, I was like, wait, we're gonna go to iMovie later, and Powell was like, but I literally kept calling it iMovie. Oh, that's a great spot. Are you gonna back into it? No. Good for you. Also, just found out that this plaza has a TJ Maxx X Home Goods, so it's game over for me because this is like 15 minutes from our house. I'm so excited. Yeah, but we'll, 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 we'll yeah, I'd like to sit here. Oh, yeah, we can't reserve them. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. I'm in my bathing suit again. We just woke up a few minutes ago. Um, we didn't vlog after the movie. I'll explain how that was later. But we are enjoying this beautiful Sunday morning. I just put on the same outfit I was wearing yesterday to go to the pool, new cover-up that I got. And we're going to make some coffee and go to the beach for a little bit. And then our plan for the day is to go to the sawgrass outlet malls it's like 45 minutes away from us and we have a few things coming up soon and i really need to go shopping because i have not shopped in forever so we're gonna go there today and then we're gonna come home and food shop but first i really need a coffee so i think i'm gonna have this cold brew because obviously we love our espresso machine but sometimes i don't want espresso and i want coffee so we're gonna have some cold brew. I recently had this Califia Blonde Roast. I love Blonde Roast coffee. So I'm going to have some of that with a little bit of oat milk. And last but not least, this cinnamon nut pods. So good. Using your straw for the morning really sets the precedence for the day. So today I'm feeling this pink squiggly one. What do you rate it? <laughs> I mean, it's not my ice cold. Oh my god! Uh, what do you You're mean? I'm queen of cold brew. Huh? The one I make. Oh, the with the machine? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, guys. So, my mom came, obviously, and I was like, please help me. This closet is a mess. And she fixed it in two minutes. It was insane. We just, like, don't really go in this closet a lot because it has just, like, a bunch of storage and, like, winter stuff. But she just organized it to make it less, like, sore on the eye. It really is, like, ridiculous how much stuff we have. But these are all Powell shoes. These are our shoes from the music festival that we literally need to clean still. These are, like, a bunch of hoodies. And then there's even more hoodies and jean jackets that I seriously just cannot get rid of. We took a bunch of bags to Goodwill yesterday, as you know. And I just can't get rid of any of these for some reason. But... These are like bedding for guests and stuff. Um, we really need to like get these paintings up on the wall and get rid of some of them. Sadly, we're gonna get rid of this one, I think. Doesn't really match anymore. 
I'm obsessed with this rug. Obsessed. Obsessed. And our couch, I need to get like blankets that will permanently be here because she's going to go attack it. But I'm just, I just love the way that this bookshelf looks now. All right. It's 12 o'clock. We're on schedule. We're actually. on schedule. Just went to the beach for a little bit. Had um, a little bit of color. Had breakfast. Breakfast lunch. Some toast. Yeah, just like a little snack. Veggie toast. We're going to go try and find a Dunkin' because for some reason you're holding the camera sideways. I don't know. It's literally right there. Well, this is why I like the thing. Where's the thing? It's in the car. Um, we're going to go to Dunkin' because both of us woke up craving Dunkin'. And then we're going to go to the outlet mall. I'm excited. I haven't been to this outlet mall before. Yeah. All right. Okay, we got in the car, drove a little bit, and picked up Duncan. I got, well, both of us got cold brew with oat milk. I got a donut. I got the Baker's Choice, which is a caramel donut. Trying it for the first time. Yeah, she he said that there's, she said that there's caramel. Let me see. Whoa. Is it good? Different. Different. Uh -huh. Um, I'd still prefer Boston cream over mm -hmm. this, but good. Good. Um, we're on strike from Starbucks. If mm -hmm. I don't think I told the vlog at all, but the Starbucks actually maybe I did. I think I did. The Starbucks near us raised their prices, um, and so it's seven dollars for a grande cold brew with nothing in it, one. no milk. One. one. Seven dollars for one cold beer. It's supposed to be like four something. So we are no longer participating in Starbucks, specifically that one. Um, yeah, but we're headed to the outlet mall right now. I have no idea what to expect. I know that they have like a few good outlet stores and then some other non-outlet stores. Okay, so these are the stores that I want to go to that intrigued me with this mall. At first I thought that there was a Lululemon outlet, but I don't think that's the case. But they have a Wolfrid outlet, which is like the brand that they sell at Aritzia. They have a Primark, which I'm so excited about. It's like a, I think it's in London, but it's like, um, I've never been. And apparently they have good stuff. They have a Vans outlet. They have, what else did I say this morning? Saks Off Fifth, Bloomingdale's outlet. Adidas. Adidas outlet. Just a bunch of stuff. I really have, like, nothing specific in mind, but I definitely need, like, new, like, casual stuff. Like, I have a lot of athleisure right now, but I don't have, like, any, like, dresses or, like, day stuff. So, that's what's on my mind. And then I also need a new pair of sandals. So, I'm just going to go and see what we find. And then we'll go to Trader Joe's later. But that is the plan. We have 35-minute drive right now. Someone's going crazy. It's crazy. There's so much. Where? What? Where are we? Lululemon outlet. I'm not okay. Okay, we finally got to the car. It's six o'clock almost, and we're having a little snack. We picked up this place. In the food court, they actually had a vegan place. So we got this massive thing. I did not know it was this big thing of hummus, which is fine because we'll use it over the week. And pita chips. These pita chips are so good. But I was so hungry because all we had was breakfast this morning. And we've been like running around the mall. Like I think we walked like three miles in the mall. But. Yeah. We shopped till we dropped. Uh huh. Like quite literally almost dropped. But I, actually, I had better luck than you. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't even looking for anything. You always do, though. It was like, we'll do a haul later, but mm -hmm. we found some awesome summer stuff. You got really good stuff. I got some good stuff, too. But I you got, got All really Saints good shirts. Stuff. Yeah. For, like, 30% off. That's crazy. I got two All Saints dresses for, mine were 30% off, too. Yeah, and they were on, they were on sale and 30% off. Doing a haul from what we got. I'll start with Banana Republic. So I got this sweater, which is really cute, like knit sweater. And it has these like wide sleeves. And I got it in a medium because I just wanted it to be a little bit oversized. 
and I think it was either 40 or 60% off of this, so it was a good price. So that's the first thing from Banana Republic. And I got this beige knit sweater, and it's so cute and like lightweight, so I thought this would be good for Seattle and also the denim shorts on the beach for here. Then I got this black one, which is really cute. It was 60% off. It's just cute and has like kind of like an open neck. And I got it in a size large because I wanted it oversized. And then, let's see, moving on to All Saints, which is like where we really got good stuff. So I got these two tank tops originally $39 and I got them for $12. So good. So the, this like little white one. And then the same thing, but black. Gray. I just said black. The same thing, but gray. I'm losing it. Then my favorite thing, I'm so excited about this for Seattle, but it's kind of like a sweater. Um, Shiny. What is it? A sweater. Vest. Sweater vest. And it's this nice like knit beige color and it has these threads of like a, like a, gold sparkly and it's so cute originally i think this was yeah 200 dollars, and it was on clearance for 70 dollars, and then it was 30 percent off so it came out to like 50 so that's such a good find and then this is where it gets so exciting but i got this slip dress and it has this like gorgeous tie-dye and it has little all saints on it so cute. I'm so obsessed with this. I can't wait to wear this in the summer. And it was $119 and then also 30% off. And then I also got this yellow dress, yellow like maxi dress, and it has like exposed stitching on it. And it's this cute like dyed yellow and it ties on the top. And then also it's like really open. So I thought it would be cute. You can wear it like scrunched up on the neck or kind of like wider. And I'm obsessed with it, and it's so cute. So that's everything I got at the outlet mall, and I love it. Okay, moving on to the real star of the show, <laughs> because he got some really good stuff. <laughs> she just got me so angry because I, apparently I filmed her haul wrong. But okay, but um, throwing off all saints, I got just like three plain, like a pack, a three pack of t-shirts. Three shirts that has like the their logo on it. Super cool, super clean. Just a good find. And like white. And then I got this cool graphic tee. Love it. I love it. It's so cool. It's super like I need more graphics yeah. stuff than like I think it's just fun kind of thing. That's really cool. It. Moving on to Banana Republic. I went a little old school. You went a little bonkers, but it was good. I, okay. Like this, probably all of this together costs about 30 bucks. Yeah. I got a linen long sleeve. Like a sleeve. white linen long sleeve. It fits so, so good. Beautiful. I love it. And I got it in blue. Because you can't just have white. Mm -hmm. And it's like a nice blue. It's not like a work attire blue. It's yeah, like it's a like nice a linen blue. White rich blue. Okay. And then I got a, uh, what's it called? A, just a dress shirt. Yep, for the wedding that we're for going the wedding, to. I just needed one because all of my yellowed out. And then I got a few t shirts. Just like lightweight light cotton. cotton. So linen cute. Blend kind of situation. And just a, another linen one. White. White. Um, then I got a hoodie. This is my favorite. This hoodie, I could not, like, I had to you get it. You had to get it. It fits so well on me. It's like it's a knit most, hoodie. It's so comfortable. And I had to get it. I love it. And then I got some linen pants. They look really good with the linen Yeah, just button like, up. I just needed some. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted good linen pants. Mm -hmm. so I was like, okay. And I got two pairs of chinos. One blue, beige. one navy blue, and beige. And when, you were trying, when he was trying on the navy ones, it was the funniest thing. We were in the dressing room. And there was this guy, like, people kept looking at him, and they were like, wait a second, that looks good, where'd you get those? And then he was, like, telling them where he got it, it was really I'm funny. I'm an influencer. You are. You are. So, um, we're going to the beach. Not the no, beach. we're going to go to the pool. But I just wanted to share really quick, because all of this new stuff, very excited about it, but that just means that you have to get rid of things. So I just went on a wild rampant 
rage of getting rid of things in all my drawers and closet and I have this stuffed to the brim trash bag full of stuff that I'm going to donate and or sell on Poshmark I'm not sure yet but Powell helped me go through it and like really really get rid of things that I don't need and I'm very happy about it.